Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Johnny's Vlog. Today we are going to visit an art exhibit in a new business that's opening up in Chicopee Center. The exhibit is called The N-Word and it's by Nathan Miller. He's a local artist. The new business is called The Cushman's Gallery. So I'm really excited about uh, showing you this new space, showing him, showing his collection, and I would love for you to join me tonight. Chicopee Center is going through a revitalization process, making itself attractive to new businesses. One of these businesses is Cushman's Gallery, located at 28 Center Street in Chicopee. For their grand opening, they've decided to host an art exhibit by Nathan Miller. The event gathered local artists, prospective clients, family and friends, all who showed up to support this new endeavor. The grand opening of Cushman's Gallery showcased their merchandise, products, and Nathan's artwork throughout its space. The gallery achieved an urban vibe with graffiti art as its main focus. So here we have Herbie, one of the owners of the Cushman's Gallery. So Herbie, tell me, how do you feel about your grand opening? It feels good. It feels good to have uh, exhibitions being performed in Western Massachusetts and uh, hope to do a lot more and uh, a lot more events and uh, get a lot of exposure for local artists. And how do you feel about being in, in Chicopee? Chicopee's great. We love Chicopee. Yeah, Munich House and we've got uh, a good um, good cultural community throughout Chicopee. Um, very diverse mix of, um, of crowds that come through and want to support. And, uh, it feels good to be a minority-owned business throughout Chicopee, and uh, we hope to continue success. During the event, guests were able to listen to music, practice finger skateboarding, and tag sketch pads. Some were even allowed to tag the restroom walls to contribute to the existing urban decor. So here we have Nathan Miller, who's having his first exhibit at the Cushman's Gallery. And he is a local artist who uh, does urban art. He does tattoos, uh, graffiti. And Nathan, we want to thank you for showing your work. But tell us, how do you feel with Man. so much people coming to to celebrate your exhibit? This is, this is amazing. You know, like, I've been doing this graffiti thing for almost pushing 30 years now. And um, I've met so many people, gathered so much knowledge through all these people, and like everyone came together today to show a good, peaceful time. You know, there's no beef, there's no nobody vandalized out here. You know, graffiti isn't a horrible thing. It's a good thing, and if people embrace it, the art can be the art can be can go forever, it can go forever. One of the things that I was hearing from your guests is that they admire your your style, your colors, and how you're mixing media. Um, right. So, what what do you? How can what can you tell us about your art? Um, my art, you know, I just man, I just started doing this, and like I, I tried to, and I I just see stuff, and I like what I like, I like, and like my colors always been crazy. And nowadays, like me being a tattoo artist, I brought the colors so I can get the contrast now. So instead of just using a bunch of colors. I use a bunch of colors with the right colors, and uh, that's that's what makes my art different than everybody else's out here. And um, what made you want to uh, dedicate your exhibit in memory of Tyrone? Tyrone was um, somebody I went to high school with. He was amazing. Um, he uh, he admired us. You know, he was a little bit younger. He loved the graffiti thing. We were in, we were doing graffiti for quite a while, and uh, he looked up to us. And he. Uh, it was a staple of chicken meat, and um, it's a shame that he passed away. Nathan dedicated his exhibit to friend and mentee Tyrone Taden, a promising Chicopee High School football player whose life ended too soon. His mother was present, and this is what she had to say. I feel honored that he would do that. They were friends. They go way back. Oh, he'd be having a great time right now. And I know that there is a fundraiser going on as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how can people donate if they wanted to? Um, 
Yeah, if you want to donate, you can get you can get in contact with Cushman Gallery. Um, they have all the specifics there. Um, yeah, this Cushman's Gallery will help you out. Okay, for how long? For how long will your art be here? My art's gonna be here for another three weeks. Great. Um, after three weeks, I'll be doing an exhibition up in Maine. Great. So you have um, art here. You also have some shirts, right? Yeah, I have some T-shirts. I have my hand style, which is just right here. And I got um, I got the crew shirts. Um, they're going too. So. So what what are what are your plans in the future? What, what what's up? What's next for Nathan Miller? Keep doing my art. Keep tattooing. Stay humble. That's all I can do. That's it. How do you feel about Nathan? Uh, first exhibit. It's nice. I'm glad to support him. He did his thing. Proud of him. He's doing, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Uh, Steve, tell us, what do you think about Nathan's exhibit? I mean, look at the turnout. It's all people who got nothing but artwork. Three years of life. What do you like the most about his work? Style, originality. I mean, it speaks for itself. You know? Just coming here and looking at it, I, I've seen pieces I didn't even know he had before, to be honest. A different style of him, too. Yeah. Yeah, we have Tim, Nathan's brother. So, Tim, how do you feel about Nathan's yeah. um, first exhibit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the event attracted people of all ages. Kurt, a local child artist, came with his father to learn about other people's style and get inspiration. Fantastic. Loved it? Yep. Nice. I see that you're also an artist, right? So what do you think about um, art? In general, you find it fun. What do you feel when you do art? Do you do you want to one day have your own exhibit? Probably. And Nathan had this message for other artists: Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't care what nobody says. If you ain't if you ain't good, you are good. So if you like it, you like it. That's it. Nathan's exhibit was amazing. It definitely has a very, very eclectic vibe and it combines different medias from acrylic to uh, spray paint uh, to foam. So definitely is amazing. You should stop by. The exhibit is going to be up for the next three weeks and it's definitely really inspiring to see how urban art can um, mingle with other types of, of, of art. So I'm excited for you to come see it and I can't wait for the success of the Christmas Gallery. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at I am Joito.